We're just completely ignoring the Troy stuff. Troy's just gone. That's it. Just wiped off of this show. Maybe you'd be interested in covering the election for the student newspaper. What's up, Jabroni Steven here, and welcome back to yet another reaction. Today, we are hopping into Veronica Mars episode number six, titled Return of the Cane. Um, yeah, I don't know what this episode episode's about. I try not to ever read the recaps or not the recaps, the description, synopsis of the episodes. I try my darndest. Sometimes I fail, sometimes I'm pretty good with it. Uh, this one I don't know what it's about. Return of the Cane. The ex boyfriend's name isn't Kane. His name is Troy. With I've mentioned is just that was a weird twist that I didn't see coming. Uh yeah, if you want this in full uncut unedited um form, head over to Patreon. You can get that over there. Link in the description, geek donation, all that stuff. If you want uh episodes ultra early, you can get over there as well. It should be about two or three episodes ahead over there. But yeah, I don't really have much else to say. Not a lot of housekeeping to discuss. Let's hope for a great episode. Let's have a good time. Like, comment, subscribe. You guys know the deal, pretty much. I mean, I moved the camera to this side. Same side. I moved the monitor. Um, yeah, here we go. Do people have lives? What the hell's happening? You don't see me poking around your trailer park, do you? Hey, uh, uh, are you the son? Son of who? I'm the guy telling you to get back on the bus and get out of my driveway. Get a few shots of my son, huh? Yeah, in my uh, morning PJs. Oh, don't forget, these folks pay for all of this, huh? <laughs> yeah, they might be a movie star. Yo, man, over here. Oh, I see. What? You're new. What are pirate points? I am. Pirate points are earned by being a contributing member of the school. Are you shitting me right now? <laughs> Wanda, I know you know the rules. What do you? What? What a horrible principle. What does she think is happening? Oh shit! Not gonna lie, hated all of this. Hated it all. It was all very poorly executed, <laughs> or very corny executed. Holy fuck! They're gonna kill this man? That's insane. Why do that? Guess he's ready to die. Why would he have wanted to kill you? Honestly, I was awesome, right? <laughs> I miss you. She said I was awesome. We're just yeah, completely ignoring the Troy stuff. Troy's just gone. That's it. Just morning, wiped off like of this show. Talking, maybe so. you'd be interested in covering the election for the student newspaper. What you want me to fight? No, man. I want you to win. Would you think you just come in here and buy me like that? Is that how it is? Yeah, that's exactly how it is. I think we're on the same page. Get out of my face before I beat your ass down for free. <laughs> Righteous dude. Hi, I'm Aaron Eckert. They have their. I've known Duncan Kane for a long time. Wow. Real deal. Duncan Kane for student body president. That's my dad. <laughs> but dad was convinced that the mystery led back to the most respected family in Neptune. The three people that were at the scene of the crime before he arrived. Jake Kane, beloved billionaire. Celeste Kane, renowned philanthropist. And Duncan. And Duncan. Each of the Kane's alibis was airtight. That is, until a traffic ticket proved that Lily was still alive hours after the coroner's official time of death. They're getting homeless. People to box for money. That's fucking ass. Their assholes completely. What's your name? Wow, this is so fucked up, dude. They're <laughs> they're using bums, homeless people, people who have nothing, and offering them money to fucking fight. What dirty, dirty people. It's impossible. What are we looking at? The outlet or the shoes? Which doesn't make any sense because most of the school is part of like the regular community and Duncan Kane is part of this. Ooh, somebody rig the system. Interesting. Must approve any request for a recount. Mm. That's it? So I just need another teacher to rubber stamp this? She's manipulating you. And I'd like to give you the chance 
to reconsider. I tell my students to be dark. Interesting. And I tell them I've never hunches. I watch okay. Glee, so seeing Jane Lynch Everything like this is very different. <laughs> Respects. I'll see those ballots now. Your life is gonna be a living hell. <laughs> I can assure that. Probably by the stuck up rich kids. I'm having a mental block. I can't think of how they would did it. Like I, I'm trying to think really hard of how they Oh, that's how they did it. They put the fucking wrong order. You saw the voting cards yourself. You, you certified the count. When those students thought they were voting for Wanda, they actually gave their votes to Duncan. You don't really expect us to believe this. We've invited the students from first period art. We can always ask them to review their ballots. Ooh. Hold on. <laughs> Veronica, exactly who do you accuse of doing this? I don't know. I'm not exactly. accusing anybody. Then again, it wouldn't be hard to find out whose code was punched into the copier that made the ballot instructions. I had my student aide make them. And that would be who? This. Oh, this jackass. Madison Sinclair. What's the deal with the shoes? Was she, was she wearing them that night or was she not? What's going on? Action News, this is Hank. Hank, I'm a journalism student from Neptune High and I'm doing a follow up story on Abel Kuntz. I'm wondering if you could send me a copy of the piece you did on Kuntz a couple days ago. Was she supposed to be, was she, was she like found with those shoes on? No, right? right. How's she a narc? Isn't it time that you found another bad guy? Look, I just don't have time to be responsible for every little thing that goes wrong in your life. Why is this happening? Why are you being... <laughs> <sighs> You're just always a dick, huh? There's just never a non-dick moment ever since so Lily died. So was it your idea, or did you just play it your usual way? Smoking gun website. What did he do now? Oh shit! It was really impressive. The way you played the ungrateful son, determined to humiliate his father, was utterly impressive. Shit, oh man! Do you have any idea? He threw you on the couch. Family? Of course you don't. You never had to work for anything in your life. Ooh. Now, tomorrow school you're gonna get your first lesson in public relations <laughs> is wanda dirty hey, superstar are you nervous is she actually a narc I'm so embarrassed but yes well i think we should celebrate this weekend win or lose you heard about this rave out in the desert and we can make it if we leave directly after school tomorrow pitch him i'll tell my mom i'm spending the night at your place do we need any provisions Provisions with a capital E, absolutely. But I know a guy. Oh. You find where you are. Take care. Find his own spot. <laughs> Damn, dude, I don't get it. Duncan used to stand up for people, but now he's ever since his, every changed almost when his sister, when his sister died. I, uh, I only hope that one day I can live up to my dad's good example. <laughs> <laughs> Was feeding on the bullshit. What are you? Dad told me on the way over that he's donating half a million dollars to the Neptune Food Bank. Way to go, Dad! <laughs> oh my God, dude! How you are a complete and utter asshole. <laughs> but good for you, man. Good for you. <laughs> really? This is a thing. Really? Nothing. There's a couple of suckers. <laughs> in the desert but i do have a pretty good idea of where you can stick these you don't understand you're right i don't why don't you explain it to me i got busted last year for possession 
This was the only way that they would keep it off my record. You know what? No hard feelings. I didn't vote for you. <laughs> Even students who excel in vocational trades should be eligible to earn pirate points. Yeah. And they should share in the benefits. <laughs> you hear one person clap. Okay. So what kind of candy should we sell this year? So it was literally just sports. They got the points or something. How the fuck did the one? Ooh, your daddy changed it on you. He's in it behind you, isn't he? Dad changed the combination. And I need to show you something. This is an enlargement of a crime scene photo taken the night of Louie's murder. Okay. Were those shoes in her room the, defendant is scheduled to die the night of the murder rejection. and they're right as there? As next year. Holy shit. Planet. What are those shoes doing in Abel Koontz's possession? Good question. Planted evidence. Interesting. Okay, well, that was episode number six. Um, Return of the Cane. Um, I don't know. This episode was okay. I don't know. It was okay. I mean, there's not... There wasn't too crazy, like, much. There was a lot... There was a lot of moments and new information that we learned that elevated the episode. And if... But, like, some of the directional choices in this episode were weird. Like... They hindered the episode for me. I'm going to give it a seven. Low seven, though. Just because every time they would, the director or the editor would take these, it's got to be the director, would take these like weird ass approaches to scenes, right? I just, it just was weird, right? Like it was weird. Like the election stuff was cool. But some of the dialogue didn't work. Some of the directing, some of the, the choices with the camera, some of the editing, it was weird. It was like, it held the episode back. The episode could have been an easy eight for me, right? Based on the story that it was telling. But the directing choices and the editing choices and everything, it kept the episode to like a low seven. And I'm giving it a seven because I enjoyed the story that was being told, right? But like it edited stuff in weird ways and... I don't know. I mean, we'll, we'll go through the episode here, but we start off with uh, Duncan's father wanting him to do something with his life, you know, go out, go for student council, be something. Then we go into this, the weirdest, oddest interaction of dialogue here about some pirate points and just this whole I get what the idea was of this scene right here, but it was just not executed well. For me, it was. I mean, again, I'm I'm weird when it comes to certain things, so this could just be me me me, me nitpicking. Um, I did appreciate this aspect, right? Because we see these two together, and I'm guessing this is the friend that Weevil was talking about, right? That uh, she knocked on. So I'm guessing this is what that was. Which I, I'm glad that they didn't like harp on it, and we just kind of saw it here. Like, this is how we knew they were together. But then we have the pizza thing. I don't know. It was just really, really not executed well. At least to me, but I'm weird. Um, ice cream for dessert. We transition into this weird moment of seeing Lily in her bedroom about the murder and stuff. And again, I'll keep saying, I get what the tint is for on the on these dream sequences. I don't love them. Because I don't know, it's just not it's just not aesthetically pleasing to look at these some scenes. At least I mean sometimes the one with the one with Duncan and she's like bleeding and stuff. That was a that was a cool look, but not a huge fan of that. Um then we have Wanda running for student council. Let's see. Then Duncan's a part of it because his friend put him in it. Um, let's see. Then we have 
kind of either Wanda, Wanda standing up for something. This weird thing about the boxing thing, like where the fuck did that come from as well? The homeless boxing thing, I guess he was doing, was random. The introduction of that guy's father, who's a famous actor, who's also uh, abuses his kids, I guess. I, I don't know. I get, I get we're supposed to be like, oh, well, he comes from a shitty household. His father's a famous actor who hits him, and then his mom is clearly an alcoholic who doesn't give a fuck about him. I get that's what we were going for, but I don't know, the whole homeless thing, the fighting thing, getting the father involved thing, that's all whatever. I thought that the way that they rigged the system, I couldn't figure out what it was, right? But I thought it was a really, really cool way that they rigged the system, just... They hand the girl. They handed the papers, which we saw for a glimpse here when she walks in. Right there, she hands the papers, and then the papers are in different order for different classrooms. Smart. Um. Then you know the whole Lily Kane murder thing. I thought that I enjoyed all that. Where we're trying to figure out exactly how uh, things connect and who exactly could be the person that did it. And now she she's putting Duncan Kane into the into the mix. Cause Duncan could have killed her. What if, what if, this is me, the Weevil thing. I think she, I think Lily was messing around with Weevil or hanging out with Weevil. I don't think they were sleeping together, but they were hanging out. Just because Weevil in that one episode uh, was crying. What if he found out about that? And we all saw how he got with his, uh, in the Paris Hilton episode, how jealous he got. So maybe that's something. I don't know. Um, Going into the safe. The the homeless people boxing, Duncan winning, the investigation, Jane Lynch showing up. They were playing it almost like if Jane Lynch was the, was also dirty and was also kind of like wanting the um wanting Duncan to win, but it turns out that she had nothing to do with it. The one girl, Madison, they called her. She was the one that did it all. And I was saying it's interesting to see Jane Lynch in this way because I'm, I've only ever seen her in um, in Glee. I mean, I've seen her in other things, but like I know her more from Glee. And her character is a jerky teacher in Glee, but very different. Um, I know all this stuff. The, I thought this was a cool little investor twist and everything, or the way that the order was. I enjoyed that. Um, this thing with the, with the shoes, I thought that was an interesting twist, right? Because he sees the shoes, right? And I didn't catch it. It took me a while. I was like, what are we looking at? The clothes of the outlet. <clears throat> it turns out the shoes, right? The shoes were in the room on the night of the murder. Yet when we uh, when we caught the the guy that we uh, essentially that they got caught for murder, it was in his possession. So it doesn't make any sense. That was a good, that was a good little twist and catch there. Like I said, I, I enjoy the mystery of Lily, and I'm very curious about that. I also am starting to really like Duncan's father. Because he does have... <clears throat> He does have a a way that he's pushing his son, but he's doing it in like a respectful way that like, you know, like you don't see in TV where like the father is a certain way. You don't see like an actual supportive father. And he seems like he's a very supportive father. As for the mother, yeah, mother, we've seen that Lily and her didn't get along. The narc thing. So this started off as like, he thought, like, um, <laughs> Veronica thought, <clears throat> It was just dirty politics, right? Like people were just being dirty. But it turns out that was probably Weevil and his crew that did that, because they they knew <clears throat> who the who their boy was with the night before, and then the next day he gets knocked on. Interesting. Uh, again, I like all the subtle stuff. It's for me, it's more the directional choices and the pacing and the editing was just weird. But I'm I'm weird when it comes to certain things, so most people won't let that bother them. Uh. The thing with the father, I get what they were going for, the whole horror, like the whole suspense mystery thing. But I don't know. I In this moment, I didn't get a vibe that the father was like abusing him. It's not until later that he brings out the belt. But I guess you, you know, your dad's an actor. And then all of a sudden, your son's like doing homeless boxing. It's weird. Um, let's see. And then we get a glimpse here of Duncan not being... Like, not sitting back and letting things happen and actually taking the initiative. So, when his sister died, he took that in a really, really 
darker path. Also, whatever happened to like the medication he was taking? Is that still part of his thing? Because they didn't harp on it. We saw it beyond that episode. Then we have Weevil here talking about the whole narc situation. And then this scene, I didn't think this scene was weird. This is another really weirdy paced scene, right? When we go to the to the gas station, where we get the random homeless man walk up, the dad talking about talking about um the movie deal. You how can you turn down ten or eight figures, or whatever? Okay, random. Then we got these random shots of them looking at one another. It wasn't. It just. I don't know. It felt weird. It, like I get what it was going for. I just didn't, didn't think it was executed well. Uh, I th- I, th- I did like the twist of um of this guy turning on his dad and be like, oh man, I can't hold it in any longer, dad. This can't be a secret. You're donating half a mil to charity. I thought that was funny. And he and I. So this is. I thought this was all good, right? From this moment here, from the the speech and everything to the him turning it on his dad and then transitioning to the belt scene, the transitioning to the wa- the room and then his father beating him while the mom watches. That was executed well, right? It was really, really well done. It was almost like one continuous shot. It wasn't, but it, it was like, it, it kind of like, it was a perfect uh, through line. I mean, I'm shocked that his father's that guy. Oh yeah, I forgot we, um, earlier before this moment, we had a, uh, um, Veronica mentioned the whole drug thing, you know, and I was unsure why she was doing that, but it was because of this thing because she knew if she was an arc, this would happen. Then I thought it was cool. She's like, There's a couple of suckers in the bag. That was a good, well done burn. And then she explains why she did it. She got caught and she needed it to stay off her resume. All this stuff, Veronica's like, That's cool. I didn't vote for you. So the narc thing did do enough to make her lose. And then I thought Duncan was going to take away the points. He didn't take away the points. Instead, he pushed for more people to be able to get points, not people that are athletes or like are part of a certain hierarchy. You know, you could be in any kind of club, which is weird that that's how it works, that it, only certain clubs were benefiting from the points. You could be in any kind of clubs, academics, all that stuff is going to help you get better, get more points. And then I'm also glad that we ended the whole doing the stuff in secret with the father. Like, oh, lying to her father. The father changing the, the combination to the safe. I'm glad we got we we went over that. We got we got rid of that. Now she shows what she found. The dad's like, wait a minute, and the dad picks up on the whole shoe thing. And I'm glad that we were kind of over that and we're moving on past that. Actually I'm actually gonna be okay with like with that. Because now it's like more like a team up and an actual actual mystery that we could try to solve because then we're being real the best part about this show um are is the main mystery the lily kane mystery and what the mystery with the mom the secondary stories like the monster or the, the mystery of the week have been okay not amazing not great but okay this one was okay as well like none of them like the best one that i enjoyed it's probably the Meet Joan Smith or John Smith one. I enjoyed that one a lot. But all the other ones, I don't know. None of them are memorable. The one with the, the gaming guys was, uh, I guess the one with the car was pretty good. The previous one was all right, too, as well. The one with the car and the boyfriend. But I, as I mentioned before, is like the, that mystery, that's almost like that was just a throwaway. We found out all this dirty shit about that guy, about um, Troy, and then he's just gone which feels like a way for them to write him off the show for some reason. But I don't know. That's my reaction to the episode. As always, if you like my reaction, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. You don't have to agree with anything that I say. I still am enjoying the show. I love Veronica. I love most of the characters. I like the way they interact. Sometimes the dialogue, most of the times the dialogue is pretty good. Sometimes with the teen dialogue, it's not great. Not great. And I get it. It was a different time period, but... Don't love the dialogue sometimes with the kids. Veronica is always pretty good, and some of them are always pretty good. I would like to get Weevil more involved, more of the story, instead of get to a different kind of, uh, get a different feel or vibe for the show. And I'm very curious where the show the show is going to tonally go. But nonetheless, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you want the full uncut, unedited reaction, head over to Patreon. 
Link in the description will take you to Patreon where you can get that. If you want episodes early, all that good stuff, you can do that as well. Um, yeah, I'm going to get out of here. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later.